Right, so today we're gonna go for a little hike and I'm gonna show you what I used to do before the war with Masa, basically, because Masa's my best friend. So this is our old stomping grounds. We lived in the affluent Hammerby Hurstalt. Here we got off at Sikla Kaye. Okay, so that's a Mekla Husit. So that's like a realtor or a state agent. And Masa's got her favorite places to piss and shit. And we'll see, we'll see if they're the same. Let's see what you can buy here in Stockholm for seven and a half million. So that's like 750,000 euros for a 99 quadrometer. They're really weird here in Sweden. They're like, what do you live in? Oh, I live in a 72. And they're like, ah, ah, like as if in their head, they know what 72 square meters looks like. They're good people, but they're weird. I'll show you another weird thing they've got here. So if you want to get drunk in Sweden, these people run the show. System Bolog it. It's got the kiss on Masa. She's gonna probably do a piss. So they have a state monopoly on all the alcohol here. Uh, they say, oh, it's not expensive. It is, it is. And it's only open during controlled hours. Like I think on Saturday, you can't buy booze after four o'clock. Uh, Sunday, you can forget it. But they've got bootleggers. My friend Carl, anyway, never mind. So there goes the Tvarban, that's the tram. Coupe everywhere. That's the most expensive coupe in Stockholm, apparently. And that's Max. I've never eaten, actually, I'm lying. I've eaten a few Max burgers. It's like McDonald's, only better. But that's not hard. Scavi Massa. Right, so all of Hammerby Hurstod, it's all brand new. It's been here for like 20 years. But up there is what Hammerby Bakken, which is like a hill that basically that's the translation. And that's Massa doing a piss, y'all. Yeah. Just a little one. I'll show you a bit about these signs here. So you've got Luma, Hammerby Hamlin, Siklisteran, Naka. It's a bit far, but Helles Gordon, beautiful, beautiful lake. All these bicycle trails are really, really well thought out and clean. Like everything has its place here. They're a bit OCD, but it's clean and you can get anywhere on a bicycle. Uh, I never had one though. And this is another thing. Swedes are really considerate about things. Like generally they don't steal. I mean, some of them do. Some people come to this country and steal a lot because it's so easy to steal, but I'll show you. Like, say that glove, for example, um, that was found somewhere along here, but somebody would have been thoughtful enough to see that, a child's glove, and they'll leave it there. Sometimes they get picked up, sometimes they don't. Ooh, what do we have here? Like, for example, when you go out on a trail, you find a glove or something, someone will hang it on a tree. Look at that, made with love. We'll hang that there. That's a very Swedish thing to do, you know? So here we go, we'll go up Hammerby, I'll give you the tour. It's quite nice. Masa loves running up there. Now, Swedes are all about rules, but um, you're not supposed to let your dog off the lead, but I don't give a shit, because she's not hurting anybody. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Massa, come with it. Come, 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 come. come. Now, oi, nay, 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 nay. The go thing. Okay, that didn't work out. It's just because you're so beautiful, Massa. Let's go. See, I wanted to show you that this city is pretty. It's hard to make friends. Okay. Um, just basically, the only people that ever really talk to each other, like unknown people, are immigrants. So I could read Swedish perfectly in the first year, uh, but nobody would ever talk to me. Or it's a bit condescending in my opinion, but when you try, they're like, wow, you speak good Swedish. But with Masa, it all changed. Hey Masa, Masa. See, then you're playing on emotion and then they start speaking Swedish. And they're like, you know, what breed is she? How old is she? Yeah, so one minute conversation turned into two to five. Six months later, I have a job in Swedish. And this is this is what we call an utgym, or an utgym. Anyway, so you got these outdoor gyms everywhere. There's probably gonna be at least three on the way to the lake. And they're everywhere, they're free. People go for runs in the trails. They come here, do jumping jacks or whatever the hell they do. And they train. 
I used to be able to do about 30 before the war, before I got fat, but uh, Mossy used to <laughs> bite on my leg. We're actually right about, right about here, okay? So you can go all the way around these trails. Um, that's a pretty big lake, but what, what one I like here, so Dam Torp Swan, I used to go swimming in this every day, and this is like a like maybe a kilometer. So I'd swim there and back, and then that leads down to Sodobichon. Uh, we're gonna go there today, right now, with Masa. Um, so we're not actually gonna go this way, but I just wanna show you the bridge, because I used to live the other side of that. Uh, but here we have Dam Torp Swan. So there's all these little, what they call brigs, you know, like little docks. People swim off every day. You see the old ladies and the old men in the morning. And people just come and enjoy the sun. It's pretty clean. And then it leads on to another lake. Now from here in the winter time, we could walk on the ice and you can see where they ice fish. So you can get a good judgment how, how thick the ice is. And I think one day we walked 18 kilometers on the ice from four different lakes. So this is probably probably a strange concept to people from North America or my Australian viewers, but all over Europe, the UK, you can have these communal gardens and I think they're almost free, but you just kind of have to wait for like 20 years to get one. <laughs> but they're all over Stockholm as well, everywhere. So this could be yours uh, if you're willing to wait, grow your own vegetables, maybe grow a bit of weed here as well. I don't know if anybody would say anything. Probably in Sweden they would. Right, Masa? It was for medicinal uses only. This isn't even a nice one. Uh, you go to Soldermalm and that's where like the rich people are, you know, or rich gardeners. Usually these lovely gay couples who have the best of everything. It's Soldermalm. Gay people always have nice things. Welcomen. Hammerby Runden. So basically Hammerby Trail. You can go around. There's the map. And then some dickhead just decides to graffiti over it. Because he's a dickhead. And they don't really punish people in Sweden for anything. But you can look. See Hammerby Vakken. If we look back on the ski hill. I decided not to go up because the view is not that good today. But they built that all out of a landfill. Uh, when they built the Avicii Stadium. Or whatever the hell it was called back then. Not your best tour guide. <laughs> and here, if you turn to the right, look at that fucking tree. Yeah, I get fired as a tour guide. See? Not supposed to use bicycles here. Rules for the sake of rules. You're not hurting anyone. It's usually an old person who complains. So, I mean, seldom a day went by. Um, no less than five kilometers with Masa. We go running, but I'm not in good enough shape now. Especially in the winter here with the darkness. If you don't move, well, as one of the trolls suggested, I should jump off a balcony. But uh, we're not going to do that. You just keep moving. Like Max said in the last video, don't be scared to move and advance even slowly. Be terrified to stand still. Masa, sit. Sit. Watch this. I'm breaking the rules now, but I'll just pretend I don't understand. Vashugul. Masa, hey do. Let's say goodbye to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she can't help herself. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Masa. Are you glad? So this is this is basically my happy place. I mean, not this specific place. Ma Masa has specific happy places where she she does a little circle, then she does a shit. Like living in Sweden, uh, I went bankrupt during Corona. I had to reinvent myself, and first I had a job that I didn't like through a piece of shit company that abuses their employees. Not naming any names, but it was I was slow to embrace the nature uh, to go out every day, every weekend. But it, it seems to me uh, a lot of Swedes, most Swedes, ethnic Swedes, and and the immigrants who embrace it, they do really well here. Um, 
taking in the nature almost every day every day there are exceptions but we were out doing stuff like this just like people and their families their kids do and um i'm all i'm all the better for it the moss is all the better for it too but i remember when we adopted her from from latvia she came over Masa, Masa means sister in latvian and uh, she's one dirty sister Masa. <laughs> You know, but I never minded any of this, you know, it's like, um, it's like if you want to party, you got to pay. And she's going to pay today in the shower. Masa, three of you. Yeah, okay. First cover your room All right. So I don't know where the hell Masa's gone. She obviously found a deer, but uh, I'm not too worried because they have a pattern. She basically chases them around in circles and zigzags until... Uh, Within five minutes, she's always back. Varodior, Varodior. Leta, Leta, Varodior. Do it in quit yakara. Yakara, Ella Yakara. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's better than any other Englishman so far. Always room to improve. Right, so now I want to bring your attention to some fresh deer shit. Look at that. Doesn't get any nicer than that, does it? Fog. What am I gonna do with you? Is the rock in Stockholm Len, Stockholm County? It's 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 pretty much like this everywhere you go. Uh, a lot of the trees, you know, just like the root system, it comes out from the ground. It's really, really quite interesting. Um, but the trail system they have here, I mean, without a doubt, it's gotta be one of the best. Right, Masa? Yeah. So this board's a bit out of repair, but they really build this place. A lot of the mountain bikers uh, like to go here, like my friend Martin's threatened to come over for a trip from Scotland. All right, so they got this Frisbee fucking thing. I don't know what that is. It's like golf Frisbee or a golf disc. That's what they call Frisbee here, disc. They're not very creative. Papa Rems, ay, monster. <laughs> Look at that. Losh, losh, nay, did losh, 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 massa, sit, nay. Nay, 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 nay. Here we have it. Damtorps Juan. Juan means lake. Or sea, actually, I think. On is like the lake. I'll never know. Some things are just things. You just have to accept them. But yeah, they've got these everywhere. Uh, so not that first one. But the second one, every day I go swimming there to the end. God. You live to be a hundred here, wouldn't you, Massa? Okay. Adu Redo. Adu Redo. Do you in Smutzig Shay? Therefore, must do bada. Redo. Sit. Sit. Fasha good, fasha good, fasha good. <laughs> Yo, Masa. Duktiche, duktiche. Come run. Yo, yo, yo. Skaka, skaka, skaka. Duktig. Du är blåd. Ska vi gå och bada igen? En gång till. En gång till. Ja! Jag kan inte vilja gå för en svim mig själv. Vad är det där? 
It's the Loch Ness Massa. Duk <laughs> Dishe. Yeah. Are you annoyed, Massa? Are you annoyed? Papa Elske Day. Yeah. So that's my life here. Um, here in Stockholm. I probably should keep my content Ukraine related. My friend Johnny, and he's a good friend. His videos get 30, 40,000 views. And then the moment he leaves Ukraine, about 8,000. See, he's a YouTuber. He makes a living off YouTube. Um, I just started it for a purpose and I think I've done that very well by your grace. What are you doing? Nay. Anyway, but there's a lot of people who are really invested in me. And why that is, I don't know. It's, it's none of my business. Uh, what people think of you is none of your business, Brandon. Just try your best. But those who were invested, this was my life. Um, I lost my business under Corona. I was not prepared. Seven successful years. I don't know if this is important to you, but I was very comfortable managing small money. 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars. I didn't need to spend it right away. It was about cash flow. If you find that relevant and that makes you more comfortable, those of you who support me. But I wasn't ready for Corona, especially in the events industry. And when I moved here uh, for my partner, it, as beautiful as it is, it was a compromise. I didn't know anybody, but I wanted to adapt. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to really be part of it. It's not, a, it's not easy to learn Swedish, especially in Stockholm, because people don't really speak to each other. And they're not going to speak to you in Swedish if they know you're a foreigner and speak English. It's like a secret language amongst them. I worked a job I hated uh, for a horrible, horrible company. I never understood the virtues of socialism until I had a job for the first time in my life at 35. Yeah, it was, it was, my, it was the day before my 35th birthday that uh, I started my first job outside of the army. But I worked hard. And I studied, and I focused on my fitness, my boxing, till my shoulder went. Um, and then, then Masa came into our lives. I could read Swedish perfectly uh, after the first year, but I couldn't speak it because no one would speak to me. Um, when Masa came, people would meet Masa, and then it plays on emotion. So they would talk to me in Swedish. Vad din hund för oss? Hur gammal är din hund? Din hund är så salt. And one minute turned into five minutes, to ten, to twenty. And thanks to Masa, it wasn't even six months. I, um, yeah, Masa, <laughs> vi snackar om dig. <laughs> Tala om trollen. Um, we, uh, I passed my first Swedish job interview. My pay went up 70%. How do you like that? I learned to be a stone worker. And it wasn't what I wanted to do but I was happy doing it. Every three weeks or so, we'd go away for a week as far north beyond Haparanda. That, that's where Sweden and Finland meet at the top. Um, Ostersund, go, go all over the place. End shopping, link shopping, shop shopping. Sh shopping is like, I think it means town. It's kind of like Ivka in, in Ukraine. Um, but yeah, every day I go to work go to the gym in the morning, have a sauna. My work colleague that I worked with, he had the same gym membership, so we had a good routine like that. Go to the gym, go to work, then go pick up Masa. If I had meetings at night in the city, I'm part of a 12-step program, um, Masa would come to most of them with me. We'd run there. Uh, nights I didn't, we'd, we'd run around the water, out in the forest, and I made a good, good, good life here. Really, really happy. Friends like Carl, maybe every second week we'd have a pizza night and movie night, watch old things like, you know, like Casino, uh, Goodfellas, a lot of Swedish movies. Hang out with my friends like Fabio from Spain, from my first job. Emma, go hiking with her. 
you know, Emma and Fabio took care of Massa a lot uh, and helped out while I've been away all this time. And I didn't know nothing about that till I came back. Those are the kind of good friends I have. And um, yeah, it's been over 13 months. I don't want to stay in Ukraine after the war. I mean, that's the way I feel now. I mean, how could you ever leave her, Marsa? Yeah. But I don't know how long it's going to last. I've got some personal things. I've got to deal with it. the government here for being away for so long. And I've got these speaking engagements. They've gone really well so far. Uh, YouTubers have been very welcoming. Uh, the Hemvarnet, that's the Swedish home guard. Maybe even talk to the, the defense minister that's on the table. For an hour? Yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm just doing these events. I've got a podcast at two o'clock. So I've got to get home with Mossa. I've got a shower, her, maybe me too. Um, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to do the best I can while I'm here. Keep saving more money as it comes in for the thermal scopes. I've got to go see someone next week about those actually. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy as much time as I can with her. And I want to thank everybody who, who supports me because, um, you know, since I've been here, this is not Ukraine related. This is Brandon related. I've spent 700 euros a year money. Moss is going to get a, get a haircut. Um, I paid some of her bills and, and at home, you know, I live pretty thrifty, but, uh, it, it's been at your grace ever since then. And I'm, I've never abused it. I try not to. But yeah, this is my life in Sweden and it's a really, really, really lovely place. It's, a, it's, it's what you make of it, just like anything. Uh, okay. So this is a little weird one, I'll show you. Look at that for a church. Svenska Kirken. I'll, I'll tell you a little story about this. So when I got my first job in Sweden, they asked, are you religious? Like my employer. And to me, that was a little bit bizarre, you know, because, you know, people wouldn't ask that sort of thing. But in Sweden, uh, you can pay 2% of your salary to the church. It's voluntary, though. I don't know how many people do it. I think some people do it. It's like, uh, like in Sweden, they say for shekering. It's like insurance, just in case there is a God. But I don't know how many people actually pay, pay church tax. And if you're Muslim or whatever, it doesn't go to the church. I think it, naturally it goes to whoever they want it to go to. But yeah, a voluntary church tax that comes out of your pay. It's, it's, it's very Swedish. It's, and they're like the most secular country in the world. Watch this, Moss is going to go for one. Okay, Massa, lick it here, lick it here, lick Massa. <laughs> Papa Hemsk. If you want to have a good time, well, you got to pay. You got to pay. Now, Massa, go, go. Ne, ne. Sit. Du, du måste sit. Du är en smutsig tjej. Ja. Du är väl vet att komma ner. Ne, go. Oj. <laughs> now you're going to see how I used to make a living. I had a lot of fun too. Massa, do you blow? Newcomer doggy bag. Wet muddy dog goes in. I never actually, ugh. Look at Massa. What do you think of her? Look at her. <laughs> You, Masa. You're so clean. Let's finish you off with the doggy bag. And then that's you. And I can have something to eat and I can go do my podcast.